As a species, we have already sent crafts beyond our solar system into interstellar space. But even with this great achievement of breaking through that barrier, there are plenty of discoveries that have yet to be made in the planetary system we call home. What have astronomers found in the far reaches of our solar system? And what can it tell us about our home? You're watching Matter, and today we are exploring the mysterious objects beyond Neptune that scientists struggle to understand. The Dark Energy Survey. In the Dark Energy Survey, we observe each galaxy in different filters on our camera, and that allows us to pick up different features and measure the colors of these galaxies. Over the six years in between 2013 and 2019, the project known as the Dark Energy Survey, abbreviated DES, used a telescope in the Chilean Andes to attempt to measure the currently accelerating expansion of the cosmos by collecting data from hundreds of millions of galaxies. One of the goals of this project is to take the most precise look at the universe's expansion to better understand how dark energy is affecting the cosmos. But, like many instances in science, this project made discoveries and shed light on objects and phenomena that were not included anywhere within the scope of the DES. While surveying the sky, this project found objects in the far reaches of the solar system that they were not expecting to be there. Not only was this team able to find these objects in the far out regions, but they were also able to generate a detailed map of the outer area beyond Neptune. These findings gave astronomers a better idea of the environment of the outer regions, and has led to more theories about the formation and migration of the objects within our planetary system. What did this survey find beyond Neptune? For a number of years after the discovery of Pluto, not many scientists were interested in looking for objects in the deeper areas of our solar system because it was assumed that nothing else of interest was out there. But during the later half of the 20th century, astronomers began to find objects orbiting the Sun from distances far beyond the known planets. During the next few decades, researchers found more and more objects which gave them more clues about how our solar system formed. And when the team of astronomers from the DES looked at the data recorded from beyond the orbit of Neptune, the number of known objects floating out there more than doubled. The search brought 815 trans-Neptunian objects, also known as TNOs, into a detailed view, with more than 460 detected for the very first time. The majority of these objects orbit the Sun more than 250 times further from the Sun than Earth's orbit, and they all orbit in the same direction, with orbital periods that can take hundreds of years. What do astronomers hope to learn? What could studying these objects reveal about our home? Far out in the solar system, around the region where Pluto lives, these objects orbit farther than any known planet in our solar system. And by studying their movements, astronomers hope they can shed light on several things. In addition to learning more about the formation and subsequent migration of objects in the solar system, there are some who hope to study the gravitational influence on these objects with the hope of finding the theorized Planet Nine. Just a few months ago, a separate team of experts took a look at the data and measured the gravitational influence on the TNOs in addition to other objects in our solar system. With this information, they were able to calculate a likely location for Planet Nine's orbit. They found that the orbit is close to 75 billion kilometers from the Sun, far beyond the orbits of the other planets, including the dwarf planet Pluto, which orbits about 60 billion kilometers away from the Sun. Will the gravitational influence found in the study of TNOs show a similar location to this? What are the trans-Neptunian objects made of? The team working with the TNOs was also tasked with figuring out what these objects are composed of. After studying the orbits and behavior of all the trans-Neptunian objects found, astronomers believe that they are primarily composed of various amounts of rock, volatile ices like methane, and amorphous carbon. Some of the team working with the TNOs have theorized that these objects may be the remnants of the formation of our solar system billions of years ago, while others may be more recent additions. They range wildly in their sizes, but all seem to be round or elliptical in shape. Likewise, their orbits vary wildly, 
with some being just past Neptune's around 30 astronomical units, while others live much further from the center of the solar system, nearly 250 astronomical units, or nearly 22 billion kilometers away. They are so far out that they are just loosely held in place by the sun's faint gravitational force that exists in those regions. This causes many of these objects to have wide elliptical orbits that can vary over time. How did they get there? Astronomers had to then ask the question, how did these objects get to their current locations? There must have been something that caused all of these objects to be relegated to the outer edge of the solar system beyond the eighth planet. Some data from the surveys suggests that they were put in their distant orbits during the time Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune were migrating away from the Sun towards their current orbits. The TNOs could have been launched from the massive gravitational energy of the gas giants as they moved through space, similar to the slingshot effect our spacecraft used to maneuver through our solar system. Another theory is that they may be leftovers from the formation of the mysterious Planet Nine, which is a hypothetical planet that may exist outside of Neptune's orbit. Could the further study of these objects lead to the confirmation that this elusive planet exists in the far reaches of our solar system? What comes next? Planet Nine was first introduced to us by a team at Caltech who was studying the TNOs and noticed they were exhibiting unusual behavior. When they ran their models, the strange movements of the TNOs could be explained using the gravitational pull of this possible ninth planet. But if this planet does exist, its orbit would be enormous and nearly 20 times further from the Sun than Neptune. This makes the challenge of finding it that much harder, akin to looking for a needle in a haystack. One theory goes off the idea that Planet Nine could have formed in the inner solar system as it was being formed and was later ejected from the inner solar system when it got caught in the gravitational pull of Jupiter. To have a relatively good chance at being able to find Planet Nine, astronomers will need to study the gravitational pull the TNOs are experiencing to direct their search. This happy little accident just goes to show that a scientific project can make progress in areas that were never even considered by those running it. Do you think this research could lead to the discovery and final confirmation of the mysterious Planet Nine? Thanks for watching. See you next time on Matter.